Which practice exams should you take that will help you pass your FE? This is one of the most common FE questions that we get from students. And today, we're going to answer it. Oh yeah, everybody now. Hey guys, my name is Kenza and I've helped hundreds of students study less, learn more, and pass faster. So last week, we talked about how much you should score on a practice exam. And a lot of you guys want to know which practice exams to take. So let's dive in. When it comes to the practice exam or your FE study material, the first thing you need to pay attention to is make sure that the material is relevant to the FE exam. When I was preparing for my FE, I found a lot of free practice exams online. But after I took my FE, I realized that a lot of those exams were not relevant to the FE. Some of the exams even had the biology questions or doubly reinforced beams, which are no longer covered in the new FE exam. So don't waste your time and make sure that the practice exams are up to date with the current FE. Also, all the practice exams that I'm going to share with you guys in this video are recommended by our students who passed the FE exam and found these practice exams very helpful and relevant to the FE exam. Now, there are two types of practice exams that you can take. There's the book format and online. Let's first talk about the books. So the first book that we have is the NCS practice exam. A lot of our students feel that this exam is easier than the actual exam, but they still recommend it, taking it because you get the feel of how the questions will be asked on your FE exam. And it also includes all the five different format answers that you might get on your exam, like the multiple choice. We also have multiple choice with multiple options to be correct. There's the fill in the blank, drag and drop and point and click. Now you can purchase the NCS practice exam from the NCS website and it is offered in all FE disciplines. Now let's take a look at the second book. So the second practice exam that we have is by Professor Islam. It is also offered in FE civil and FE mechanical. Now some of our students found it very helpful and others found it a little bit harder than the actual exam. However, I still recommend taking it because it does have a lot of great problems. And I think it's important that you guys expose yourself to different type of problems. It will really prepare you for the actual exam. The third practice exam that we have is by Professor Giram. This is offered only for FE Civil. It does have a lot of great problems and a lot of students found it very helpful and relevant to the FE exam. And then we have the fourth practice exam, which is by Anthem. Now Anthem offers practice exams for FE civil, mechanical, and other disciplines. It does have great problems as well, and it is up to date with the current FE exam. Now the last practice exam that we have is the mock exam. A lot of our students found the mock exam very relevant to the FE exam. If you're going to take only two or three practice exams, I definitely recommend adding this one to your list. Now, the mock exam is only offered for civil, but if you are taking mechanical or other disciplines and you want to practice more problems, you can take the mock exam since it's free. And what you can do is just stop once you hit the civil engineering questions. Now, if you want the links to all the books mentioned here, you can check the link here. Also, if you are taking FE mechanical or other disciplines, electrical or environmental engineering, you can find more practice exams here. And again, all these practice exams were recommended by our students. Before we continue, I have an announcement. We just launched a free quiz on our website and you can take it and just see where you're at with your FE preparation. The quiz questions are very common FE problems and it should take you about 15 minutes. Once you complete the quiz, then I'll walk you to the solution. So make sure to check it out. Now let's talk about online practice exams. So there are a lot of online practice exams, but what I heard from our students is that a lot of them are really hard and not really close to the actual exam, which is unfortunate because I think it's really good to take an online practice exam since you get the full experience of the actual exam. You get to flag questions. There's also a timer. 
But with that being said, you don't need to purchase an online practice exam to get the full exam experience. What you can do instead is when you take a book practice exam, just make sure to mimic the exam environment. If you're not sure how to do that, go ahead and comment, take practice exam below, and I'll make a video on that next. We also offer an online civil practice exam with the purchase of one of our courses. And last weekend, I interviewed Andreza, who recently passed her FE exam, and she took our practice exam and she said that she found it very helpful and pretty close to what we can expect on the exam. If you're struggling with your FE preparation right now and you're feeling stuck and frustrated, don't forget to check out our courses where we simplify the FE problems and concepts and teach exactly what you need to pass your FE exam. Our courses are lifetime access, provide step-by-step -step solutions to over thousands of problems that will help you study less, learn more, pass faster, and build the career that you deserve. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe and don't forget to come back here every week for free FE problems, study tips, and motivation to pass your FE exam faster. Now, before you go, make sure to check out this video here where I talk about how to decide what questions to flag during the exam. This will help you pass your FE so you don't want to miss it. Now, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great week and I will see you on the next video. À la prochaine. Oh yeah, everybody now. Oh, 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 oh,